I made some masks and I'm gonna show them to you. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about some different kinds of masks that I made. The use of masks in rituals and ceremonies is a really ancient human practice all across the world. I really love masks. I've been fascinated by them and drawn to them, and I've been using them in my work for many years. I love learning more about them, learning the different types of masks from different cultures and different parts of the world. My background is in theater, and I would bump up against the use of masks in a lot of different ways during my training and it would be everything from Commedia dell'arte, which is an old Italian form of theater that uses a lot of masks, or other more contemporary or newer ways to work with masks in your drama and theater practice. I really love how wearing a mask changes everything about your body language and how you tell a story. When you don't have your facial expressions to fall back on, your body language changes and that's really cool and I love working with that on stage. All of these masks were actually created for me to perform in in one way or another. Some of them I would use with my old band back in New York and some of them were created for music videos or performances with my solo project Galeria and are a little more recent. The first mask I want to talk about is this one. I call this the fur head. I think this only made it on stage with me once or maybe twice. It's a fun mask. It's got faux fur all over it. I bought this cheap faux fur vest in a thrift store and then I cut it apart and I put it together over this mask. It's actually two parts. The front part is just one of these cheap paper white masks that I bought in some store somewhere. And then the inside is like aluminum that I shaped to my head and then I put the mask and the aluminum together and then I covered it with this faux fur. Well, hello there. The next masks I wanna show you guys are these. So this is a series of six masks that I created for my hometown debut, my first ever live performance in Stockholm, Sweden. Go Stockholm! With my solo project Galleriet, and that was in 2018, so last year. I ordered these masks in bulk, and they originally were just white paper, like you can see on the back, and they didn't have any strings or anything attached to them, so I attached these thicker, stretchy, straps to the back of them and then I painted them and decked them out in different ways. Between each song and the set there would be a brief interlude during which I would wear one of these masks and perform a repetitious series of movements and together they were indicative of the theme of the song that was coming up next. This particular mask actually made it onto the cover of my most recent EP, Send Me Your Daughter, that came out in 2018. And the photo was shot by Petter Lövstedt in Stockholm. The next mask I want to talk about is this one. This is the Giacomo mask. Now there's Big Giacomo, Baby Giacomo, and the Giacomo mask. Those pieces were all used in the music video for my song, Right Wavelength. I'm gonna do a special episode on all of these three Giacomo pieces, in which you'll also find out why they're called Giacomo, but for now, I'm just gonna show you this mask. I made this piece from scratch using paper mache, and it's very much inspired by Commedia dell'arte masks. Many people have noted that the nose is rather phallic, and that's typical of those types of masks, but I kinda just saw it as a beak. Now I want to take a quick moment to talk about two masks that I no longer have but would still like to show you guys. The first one is called Redhead. Redhead was a big red mask made out of chicken wire and paper mache that I created to wear on stage with my old band in New York. And it had this hole in the mouth with a compartment inside so you could put stuff in there that you could pull out while you were performing. Sadly, I no longer have Redhead because I was keeping it in storage for a while and it turns out that mice really love paper mache and they kind of ate it up. The other mask was called Baby Head and I found that mask in Chinatown, pre-made, and it had a lot of bright colors on the face and I actually really loved the way it looked, but for the purposes of what I needed it for, which was a music video for my old band, it had to be white. So I took it home and I painted it white and then I added this kind of fluffy fabric collar all around the bottom of the mask. I'm actually not quite sure what happened to that mask after the shoot, but I'm pretty sure someone somewhere probably has it. The last mask I wanna show you isn't really a mask as much as it is a veil, but it still felt fitting to include it in this episode. I call this 
outfit, Veil Head, and I would wear it on stage performing with my old band and in promo photos that we took. It's just a larger piece of thin black fabric as well as this goldy rope. And this is how I would wear it. Because the fabric is so thin, I was still able to see and sing through it on stage. And those are some things I made. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And why not hit subscribe? I'll see you next week. Bye.